Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to PM Weather. I am student meteorologist Alex Herbst with your forecast for central New Hampshire. Well, Mother Nature clearly did not get the message that spring is right around the corner as there is still snow covering the ground right here in central New Hampshire. Although we saw mostly clear skies today, our temperature really never got even close to the freezing mark as our high today here in Plymouth was about 23 degrees with a low earlier this morning at 7. Our average low for this time of year is actually a lot closer to what our normal high today was as the normal low for this time of year is 21 degrees. Our sunset today was at about 7.04 p.m. and the sun will be rising again tomorrow morning at 6.43 a.m. I, for one, am very happy to see these longer days coming here in the spring and soon to be summertime in a couple of months. Our current conditions here in Plymouth as of 5 p.m. show a temperature of 25 degrees with mostly sunny skies. It is a dew point of minus 7. Uh, humidity is at 18 percent. Winds are out of the west-northwest at 10 miles an hour. Current temperatures around New Hampshire show 27 degrees over in Rochester, 29 in Portsmouth. It is 30 degrees down in Nashua as the temperatures continue to trend warmer as you head to the south. And it, the ice box of the state right now is the Mount Washington Observatory at 8 below zero. Current temperatures around New England and the northeast continue to show that warmer air is to our south. It's 35 degrees in Bridgeport, Connecticut, 33 in Hartford, Boston there at the freezing mark, and 28 degrees up in Portland, Maine. Nationwide, Colder air continues to dominate to the north as it's 29 degrees up in Minneapolis, while it is 62 degrees down in New Orleans and 80 degrees in Miami, Florida. I know we'd all love to see some of this warmer air that we're seeing right here make its way up into New England, and well, we could see that by this weekend, so stay tuned. So our forecast showed that there was really nothing going on today here in New England, or even New Hampshire for that matter, in terms of some clouds or some snow. We really saw a few clouds only out into Vermont over parts of Middlebury, and to our west in New York and Pennsylvania, we saw some clouds, but those really did not have much accumulation of snow with them or even really any precipitation to speak of. So we're not really worried about anything with those clouds coming in tonight, possibly. Further out, though, we can see some rain over parts of central Florida. That's all part of a cold front that is currently sitting over the area that's bringing some rain and thunderstorms. And we also see some mixed precipitation over the Missouri Valley. That will be also playing into what our forecast will show as we could be seeing some snow possibly entering our region for tomorrow night into Wednesday. Here is that model forecast as you can see over here as the snow will be passing much to our east as it, it, most of it will be staying offshore, but we could still see a few snow flurries with this. All of this is going to really fall on the track of the storm. As you saw, most of the storm really passed right over the very edge of the coastline right near Cape Cod and maybe parts of Boston and the main coastline. If that storm were to move a little bit closer Inland, we could see some more snow accumulations for us here in interior New England, but right now we're looking at most of the accumulations, if any, will be right along the coastline here for northern New England. Our forecast shows right now that, well, there's that rain that's sitting over central Florida right now, and this precipitation here over the Missouri Valley, these two will be very, very important as they move into tomorrow. As you can see, that low that was sitting over Florida will reform over here in the part of the Atlantic Ocean. That will be, st that will be starting to move to the north and it will interact with these two systems that will be pulling out of the region and will bring some snow right here along the coastline of New England, parts of Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, and even parts of Maine. Out to our west though, we see some rain over parts of Texas, and our next system will be entering our picture to the west. That could bring us some rain by the end of this week because, well, temperatures will be on the upswing as this high pressure system sitting over the Tennessee Valley builds in after that storm on Wednesday. So for tonight, here in Plymouth, we'll be looking at four degrees, bitter cold tonight, we'll be looking at some wind chills that could go below zero, and it will be mostly clear skies with winds out of the northwest at five to 10 miles an hour. For tomorrow, we'll be looking at increasing clouds as that storm system gets close to our region, but may or may not bring us some snow during the evening hours tomorrow. Winds will be out of the southwest at five to 10 miles an hour with a high of 28 degrees. For tomorrow night, we'll be looking at a chance of snow showers. I put it at a 30% chance. Winds will be out of the southeast at five to 10 miles an hour, with an overnight low of 19 degrees. So, looking at our extended forecast, we can see that on Wednesday we still have a few of those snow showers hanging around that are a part of that system. All, that, all of that system will depend on the track. So be sure to tune in to PM Weather tomorrow as Kyle Martin will have all the latest on this coastal storm and will let you know how much snow we can expect here for central New Hampshire. Later this week though, we get to see a nice warm up. Friday we'll be looking at rain and Saturday could be a beautiful day with 45 degrees for a high. For PM Weather, I am student meteorologist Alex Herbst. Have a great night.